Have you ever watched a flag blowing in the wind and wondered how that flag got all the way to the top of the flagpole? Well, today we're going to learn a little bit about the behind the scenes of how a flag is raised, as well as a little bit of history of the flag in this video. In order to raise a flag, you have to use a couple different kinds of simple machines. Here's a picture as a hint. Let's see if we can guess what they are before it gets all the way to the top. Did anybody guess? Well, if you guessed a fixed pulley and a wheel, then you got it right. Those are the simple machines used to raise a flag. Let's learn more about how these simple machines work by making our own tiny flag of Des Moines flagpole. We're going to need some string with safety pins tied to both ends, some kind of wheel, I use the middle of a fidget spinner, some thumbtacks that we're just going to stick in the straw from the flag, and then we're going to hot glue the wheel to the top of the straw or the top of the flagpole. Then I stuck the flagpole in a little ball of clay so that it would be nice and secure and stand pretty well on its own, and then took the string with the safety pins on both ends and then kind of hung it evenly over the wheel at the very, very top of the flagpole. Next, you'll stick the bottom safety pin to the bottom left corner of the flag and then the top safety pin to the top left corner of the flag while it's still draped all the way to the top of the flagpole on the wheel. Now it's time to test the pulley system and the wheel by raising the flag. When you pull one end of the string, the flag will start to rise, and then when you pull both strings together, you can wrap them around the little thumbtacks that are stuck in the straw, and this is acting as the cleat, or the part of the flagpole that keeps the rope nice and secure after you have it nice and tight to the top of the flagpole. You can even turn on a little fan while you're doing this to add some extra difficulty like it is in real life when you're trying to raise a real flag out in the wind on a very windy day. All right, it looks pretty good. Cool, it worked. The flag of Des Moines came from an idea in a Callanan Middle School seventh grade class. With the help of their teacher, the class was able to get the city council and Greater Des Moines Chamber of Commerce to host a citywide flag design contest. The winning design is a reflection of the downtown Des Moines bridges over the Des Moines and Raccoon Rivers that cross and connect the city. Thanks to our friends at Flag of Des Moines for sharing their story, and as always, go beyond with SCI. We hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.